If you have chronic pain, then you must first accept it. Only then can you explore ways to make it better. Knowing that you can make it better creates hope, which in turn helps you get better. You need both acceptance and optimism. In my practice, I see many people who are in complete despair. Fortunately, they do not have any life-threatening or limb-threatening problems, but the wear and tear of their discs, ligaments, and bone cause a constant pain. This loss of vigor, loss of ability to do what they once could do, causes significant angst. The psychological component of this is significant and destructive. First, let's talk about the physical component. While it's true that some have a profound injury that may have caused the impairment and chronic pain, it is also more likely that the constant pain and loss of prior strength and stamina is also part of the aging process. There's only one way to avoid aging, and it's not a good one. Most would rather live measured but longer than to pass away young but vigorous. So why are we having this conversation? It's because how you deal with your life changes matter. Forget all that philosophical discussion about fairness or genetics or luck. Each of us are dealt with circumstances not in our control. We did not choose our parents or determine when or where we were born. But in each time, there are those who persevered and excelled while others faded away. It turns out attitude matters and how we cope with adversity determines our outcomes. As a physician, I see it firsthand all the time. The most impaired are those who have a chronic condition who do not accept the circumstance. While an attempt should be made to make sure there is a solution for the problem, if the condition is one associated with aging like arthritis or disc degeneration, then those who do better by accepting the steps. By accepting the condition, the focus can then turn on how to remain active and functional and productive even when you have that condition. Yes, I know there are events that have accelerated the development of the wear and tear, but you can't go back in time to erase that event. It's a hard truth. I don't blame anyone for trying to avoid that reality, but it'll always be there. By focusing on how to remain productive despite the condition, the small victories associated with returning to activities give a sense of improvement. It provides hope for a better life. Without this hope, it's easy for people to get stuck in their despair. Accepting allows focus to change to what a person can do to overcome the complaint. Acceptance can lead to improvement, function, engagement with others, and a return to a sense of vigor and productivity. It's a focus on the positives. It brings optimism back into your life. It's an attitude that produces patience and thankfulness for improvements. It's a maturity of thought and it provides grit when there are setbacks. I often tell people expect a two step forward and one step back recovery. If there's no confidence or hope or optimism of the future, that step back can be devastating for some. With maturity and experience, there can be confidence that the step backwards will be temporary. While I'm looking at this from a chronic pain perspective, I am reminded that this attitude helps many navigate the many life events that's part of human existence. I know this is a bit different from many of my other spine-related videos. At the same time, these lessons of attitude, hope, and optimism is necessary while I counsel many whose complaints are about life in the form of a spine issue. To sum it up, many health issues are related to the process of natural wear and tear. That is called aging. It's impossible to stay young forever. Denying that fact leads to despair. The goal is not to prevent getting old. The goal is to age gracefully. This video is made in late April 2020. 
We are in the middle of the coronavirus pandemic. This discussion about acceptance and optimism holds true even in that circumstance. Accept what needs to be accepted. Then be optimistic that we, as a society, will overcome. Thank you for listening.